in this section we are going to see how to plot bar charts in different ways horizontal vertical and stacked so what is a bar chart data which we represent in a bar like fashion which can be used to compare multiple data series against each other for example if we have revenue of multiple companies as well as profit of those companies we can compare revenue and profit in a single bar let's see that with an example so let's import our libraries and let's suppose we have companies their profit and the revenue so reliance tcs infosys and icici icici this is the profit you can assume it in million dollars and the revenue now the simplest way to plot a bar chart is plt dot bar function in this bar function you would mention the x axis which is what which is your company the height what do you want to represent as bar would be the profit and the revenues right so let us represent on the x axis you have the company on the y axis you have the profit so you would get a company on the x axis profits on the y axis now i also want along with the profit what is the revenue of each of the companies then you are going to copy paste this and you are going to change the variable so i want company versus revenue okay so these are the revenues now what has happened is because our profit is less than the revenue the bar here has is hidden okay this new bar has come on top of the previous bar so let's see if it is true so let us give the labels so this is the profit this is the revenue and to show the labels what we need to do we have to do a plt dot legend let's do a b box to anchor this property is quite helpful because it keeps the label just outside our figure so you would see that is a profit and a revenue you can adjust the x and the y axis uh, of your legend but there is profit and revenue profit is not visible to us the reason being it is just overlapping and is smaller than the this bar so this particular bar chart it is a vertical bar chart right now we have to adjust our bars so that we are able to see both of them let us do that so for that what we need to do is adjust this ticks these are the x ticks this particular thing these are called x ticks and these are the y ticks so let us adjust the x ticks on the x ticks what do we want we want the company okay but what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a variable called x position which i am going to take an array a range of length of this variable company so i should get from where to where from 0 to 3 and what i am going to do is i am going to map this particular variable to the company variable okay and 
for the profit I am going to take this position and I am going to adjust it with 0 0.2 and for the revenue I am going to say, take the same position and adjust it with minus 0 0.2. So now I am seeing the bars but they are too wide so let's just reduce the width of both of them. And now you are able to see the profit and the revenue of all the companies side by side. This is how you are going to use the horizontal bar chart in Python. And you are using two series of data. So it's not like a pie chart where you're just using one series of data. This is two series of data and you can compare profit and revenue of company by itself as well as along with the other companies. So this is your vertical bar chart. For the horizontal bar chart, you will have a variable, you will have a function called h bar or sorry bar h. Okay, and you'll have to same to do the same thing, but now you'll have to adjust your y ticks. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take another variable for y position, and now my y ticks. Okay, and this would be bar H. And let's see if I have not made a mistake I will get it. Okay. So this particular thing is for the height. Now when you give a horizontal bar chart you have to say the width. The width will be equal to the series value profit and revenue and now the adjustment that you have to do is for the height so just let me quickly adjust my label x is uh, make it 1.4 i think because i have made a, a zoom here okay uh, sorry not a zoom because this particular thing is adjusting that's why it's not come correctly so it's starting from here oh sorry this is 0 1 so So you can just uh, adjust your legend as per your uh, requirement. So this is your horizontal bar chart where you can get your profit and revenue profit and revenue okay and how is this printed the zeroth position is ril so it's the below one two and three okay if you look at the data this is the zeroth position we have mapped it to an a range okay we have taken an a range of length of company zero to three and that is how it is mapped for the stacked bar chart i'm just taking a different example because these numbers are big and we would want to just see how the stacked bar chart works. So I'm going to take three variables, x from uh, 2, 3, 4 and 5, simple variables. And what we are going to do is we are going to create two plt.bar, which is your vertical bar. Now days is my x-axis and x is my height. <coughs> x or y whichever variable you want to take that's your height I'm just adjusting the width to be 0.5 I am giving this a color yellow 
and let us label this as positive you are going to take another bar chart with the x change the color i'm making it cyan now there is one extra attribute here in this bar a special attribute which says bottom if you say bottom equal to what is the bottom okay so at the bottom i want y let us take some more properties of uh, the plot let us give the x limit to be from 0 to 5 okay this is the days 0 to 5 let us give the y limit from 0 to 16 now you can mention your x ticks okay what are the ticks that you want the ticks that i want is on the days that is 1 2 3 and 4 and to this ticks i want to give a particular tuple i want to give a particular text to each of the ticks which i can give in a tuple format so you can customize your ticks you can also plot the grid we had seen this previously let us show the legend let us give the b box to anchor let us give the label to the x and the y labels so on the x axis i have these on the y axis i have a result positive or negative you can give the title if you want these are all the functions within the matplotlib title i had covered in section 1 when we were doing the line chart even grid was covered there you can save the figure if you want okay for now let us do the plt dot show and let's see the stack bar chart so this is how it will look on day 1 these many things were positive and these many things were negative so if you look at it positive is 4 and the negative that we have said is x is 2 okay so this is the negative part and on the bottom we have kept the positive results so negative is not a summation it is just from here to here okay do not confuse it from summation from 0 to 6 no okay it is from this to this is how you can plot a stacked bar chart in some cases stacked bar chart may be an appropriate way to showcase your data but you will have to make sure you know which format you want do you want to show it as a stacked format or in a horizontal fashion or in a vertical fashion okay so let's meet in the next section